When we think of good action, we think of exciting sequences of carnage that are still easy to follow. Cinematic and yet hard-hitting, something that feels unreal and yet still somehow believable. For me, there's one film that perfected action filmmaking. Everything outside of the action may only be decent, but the action is unparalleled. With 1992's Hard Boiled, Hong Kong legend John Woo took what he had done in films like The Killer of Better Tomorrow and Bullet in the Head to the next level. With the dirty Harry S. Tequila fighting against and then alongside undercover cop Tony to bring down a crime syndicate, we are treated to numerous balletic action sequences that prove just how masterful Wu's handle on action filmmaking is. Action filmmaking now has found itself in a rut of fast editing, shaky cam, and frankly dull to non-existent choreography. Though we may now and again get films like The Raid or John Wick, generally filmmakers utilize numerous cameras on set to film actors and stuntmen performing basic movements with the excitement brought to it through the pace of the editing. Wu's films are the antithesis of this. He understood how important it was to let the action on set lead. His camera movement is still dynamic and exciting, but not overly motivated. He doesn't let his editing and camera work construct the action, instead it supports it. Gunfights and fistfights feel like they'd have been as exciting to see on set as they do within the film. We know they are fake and happen within a heightened reality, but even as theatre, it is undeniably impressive. We appreciate there were capable performers in front of and not just behind the camera. Part of what makes Wu a master action filmmaker is that he appreciates what others can bring to the table around him. Sometimes though, it is his handle of filmmaking that truly allows his action to rise above everyone else's. Whereas filmmakers now make the action as hard to see as possible with a real-time effect wherein regardless of where we are in the space, the action happens at the speed it might in real life. Wu uses his filmmaking to slow down time, both literally and figuratively. He understands intrinsically the craft of filmmaking, and how the cinematic flourishes such as slow motion and editing can help audiences understand and enjoy his sequences. Known for his overt use of slow-mo, which he utilizes to pinpoint dramatic moments and draw up tension from sequences, he also uses his editing and blocking of scenes to keep our sense of geography and understanding of the action clear. Watch this scene. These two come crashing through a morgue wall, and in reality the ensuing fight would last seconds. Wu, however, first follows Tequila and his dispatching of these guys, before then turning to Tony and showing his mowing down of the rest. If this were real life, both would have to clear the room simultaneously, but this is the cinematic reality Wu has constructed for us. Thanks to Wu's editing choices, we get to see everything that happens, but it never feels overused. The shots last just long enough that we don't feel the characters will be killed. The pacing is just right that we can keep up, but the excitement remains. Famously, Wu then does something in the hospital sequence, which is still one of the greatest action sequences ever, that completely goes against his carefully constructed editing of action. Tequila and Tony go through two floors executing bad guys, and they do it in just one take. Even when they go into an elevator, the crew then quickly redress the set outside to make it appear the floor had changed rather than break the shot. Done to save time on set, it also has narrative purpose. Wu's editing choices, or a lack thereof, are to further our understanding of the characters. We see how skilled they are, and how increasingly capable they are of working together. The long take sequence is obviously a grandstanding showcase of cinematic flair, but it also is the moment we see these two characters find their rhythm within the story, and the moment we see that only together can they survive this gauntlet. And it is the rhythm within the action that Wu arguably has a better handle of than anyone else. His sequences flow beautifully, never outstaying their welcome even when they last almost 40 minutes. From contained moments of brutality to sprawling sequences of extending mayhem, he keeps us hooked throughout. Tension is integral to any action scene, or the action would have no drama. To flow, we need the sequences to have moments of tension followed by moments of relief. On a micro and macro scale, Wu does this brilliantly. The film is full of moments where he builds and builds using long takes and slow-mo to extend already tense sequences so that the brief burst of action that follows feels more rewarding. This too occurs throughout the larger sequences in terms of stakes. To maintain dramatic tension, the stakes are always incredibly high. In the yacht sequence, Tony is immediately wounded and the character stuck in a tight space. In the hospital, we have fellow policemen, then innocent hostages, and then newborn babies all acting as potential victims. Every scene too has its own lead antagonist. The tea house has a main villain. The warehouse has a main villain. The film of course has its one big bad, but we also need a point around which the heroes need to fight within each contained battle. Tequila may be a super cop, but to maintain our interest and to raise the tension more, we need a super thug too. The stakes are always high, but the pace is malleable. It changes rhythmically, the action cannot be constantly bombastic, and so we get moments of character development of humour interspersed throughout. 
Wu allows us to breathe within the action sequences themselves through his editing choices, but also via the greater narrative choices he makes. At every level, he knows what to do to keep us involved and yet not exhausted. With the combination of dramatic moments of tension, well-directed gunplay, exciting practical effects, editing choices motivated by action rather than the other way around, and generally well put together extended action sequences, the film rises above its melodramatic, arguably rough around the edges style to become an unparalleled action classic.